now learn the name of one of the three victims who died when this car on your screen plunged in the Anacostia River. Officials now say in total they found two men and a woman dead following that incident. Witnesses saw that car going into the river near the Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge in southeast D.C. Crews later finding the car shortly before midnight. Our Leonard N. Fleming is investigating accusations that emergency crews went to the wrong location, delaying that rescue. And Leonard, you also spoke with D.C.'s auditor who investigated the 911 call center, and she's calling for immediate transparency on this. That's exactly right. There are many unanswered questions on how did this happen and what was going on inside that car when it plunged into the river. And there's also the question of whether the 911 call center sent emergency crews to the wrong bridge more than a mile away from the right one. We absolutely remain concerned and one of the things that is most concerning is the issue of transparency and being forthright about what happens when something goes wrong. DC Auditor Kathleen Patterson has been critical of the 911 call center. We asked the auditor about accusations bubbling up from 911 critics that emergency crews were sent to the wrong bridge for that submerged car and a delayed response time. Three people died after plunging into the Anacostia River late Thursday near the Frederick Douglass Memorial Bridge. You guys find anything yet? Nothing yet. We're searching the South Anastasia Bridge right now. Initially, rescuers went to the 11th Street Bridge. Listen closely, and it appears the caller or complainant may have changed the location from their initial 911 call. Hey, sir, I just got off the phone with the complainant. She's now saying the uh, Frederick Douglass Bridge. D.C.'s Office of Unified Communications says it is investigating why crews were mistakenly sent to the 11th Street Bridge. There will always have human error. There will always be mistakes. But the really, it's really important for the agency to be completely front and center and transparent with the community. The first 911 call came in at 1032. Authorities eventually found a man and a woman outside the vehicle. Police have not yet confirmed the gender of the third victim. A statement by the 911 call center says... Based on the information provided by the caller and the information presented by location determining technology, we were unable to immediately pinpoint the exact location of this tragic incident. One of the things our audit shows was a failure on the part of some call takers to use the technology that they have, to use the mapping technology that tells them very quickly where something occurs. The cause of the crash still remains under investigation. Reporting from the studio, Leonard N. Fleming, DC News Now, back to you.